guys. Hey, hey, hey. Happy Thursday. Hi. Um, North Carolina, I'm going to give everybody a couple more minutes to come in. Oh, here y'all come. Oh, y'all requesting to be in lives. Maybe I can do some of that till everybody gets in. Then I can talk about what I want to talk about. Okay, so. Okay, so, listen. Um, a couple of things. Jay, if you want to come in on my live, send the request really quickly. But I wanted to, because I know a lot of people have been DMing me. I've even had a few people text me. And so, you know, I like to go ahead and get stuff out the way and keep it moving. Um, hey, and keep it moving. So, Own dropped a trailer today for um, a part of the Galentine event, right? Oh, shoot. There go my mama. <laughs> hey, mama. So, um, like I was saying, I have um, a few people who text me, some of y'all have been in my DM, and I'm going to say this one time, and then I'm going to keep it moving, because it's just how I, how I roll. I got other things to be focusing on and doing. Um, but what I will say is, I own dropped a trailer today for another piece of the Galentine event, and I want to clarify and clear some things up in terms of the possible misconception based on what y'all saw. So, um, for one, from last week, um, I've been doing this show now. We're on season four. Um, and for a very long time, um, I was definitely um, in a lot of tough situations. A lot of my personal life, you know, the down pieces more than anything um, you guys were witness to and able to see. Um and I've never called anyone out their name. Y'all have never heard me call anybody out of their name. Um, ever. So what I need y'all to understand is for me to do that, there was a, it had to have been a reason. Because I don't just down do that. I just don't do that. I can, but I, I typically don't. Um, so what I will say is, um, thank you Simply Chinny for buying a badge. Um, so I typically don't call anyone out of their name, um, but it did happen at the Galentine event and I would do it again. Let me be clear. I meant what I said and I said exactly what I meant. Um, and in that moment, the reason that energy ended up being given, I didn't come with that kind of energy. Um, there were two games we played. I played those games with a smile on my face, did what Kimmy asked me to do. Um, wasn't making no shady faces at people or, you know, just being petty. I wasn't doing any of that. I was doing what Kimmy asked us to do, which is why Kimmy didn't have to stand up trying to check me about not, she did it. She had to check some other folks. Um, <laughs> but anyway, um, it got to a point though, which led over to even the trailer y'all saw today. It got to the point to where there were some very below the belt things thrown my way. Um, and that was when I was over it and I didn't care. I did not care, which is why I chose to leave because for the first time, I remember I called my mom. Y'all probably remember too, um, me coming on live talking about I had a migraine for two days. Remember that? And I was talking about how I had been in um, a situation that gave me a migraine for two days. And I was like, this is too much. Like anytime I got a, I'm tapped out, I can't work. I'm taking migraine medicine for two days because my body ain't even used to that energy. My body's not even used to um, arguing. I got rid of that when I get, got rid of my ex. Like my body couldn't even take it to the point where I had a migraine for two days and I know I came on live and talked about it. Um, Cause you know, your body kind of gets used to, if you're in toxic stuff, it gets used to that and nothing bothers you. You can go off and you're good. But I've been in such a place where I had been at peace. I had been fine. I had been great. And then boom, um, that happened. So that's why I had a migraine for two days. But anyway, um, some of the below the belt things that were said to me in that moment that I just wasn't here for were, you have your husband cheated on you for five years and you knew it and you stayed and and then you're gonna go have another baby and it was and then you're gonna go have another baby by him 
one thing we're not about to do keep my children out of out of bs first of all don't bring up kids because i'm not bringing up yours don't do that um don't do that and um i definitely don't play about sugar mama so don't try to throw you know <laughs> throw nothing at when it comes to her being here or um, any of that. Don't do that. And so that's why you got what, you, what I said, which was, oh, well, yours cheat on you every day and you don't care. And that was said in response to the bull crap she said. And who knows? Go to Carlos. Ask him at the reunion to, pa to play the unedited cut. Y'all will see it. Y'all will see it. Um, and so that was some of the below the belt things that were said. And that's why my response was what it was. And I will respond the same exact way every single time. Every time I will respond the exact same way. Don't say nothing about my baby. Don't do that because I've never said anything about yours. Despite when your mama went live trying to talk about them and all this, I ain't never said nothing about nobody's kids. So don't say nothing about my child. And period. And that's why she got what she got. So for those of you um, who, um, you know, have been DMing me and wondering like, dang, Mel, you know, why did you do this? Or was it? That's why. That's why. Um. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm, that's what happened. So I'm just letting y'all know. Um, we're, not about, we're not about to play about Sugar Mama not now day of the week. Not one day of the week. Not one day. Not one way, not damn day of the week. So, um, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's what was said. Like I said, you know, at the reunions, they do, um, they do play, you know, go back and play certain pieces that y'all haven't seen before. So they may play that, but just know, just know I don't, I ain't just come out the blue talking about nobody. I don't, I don't even be caring to talk about them ever because <laughs> I don't care. Um, literally, even at my pajama party, I was in another room for a long time. And finally, I had to go into the other room. And even then, y'all talking about a six-hour party and a discussion happened for maybe 15 minutes that started because of a picture. And everybody's been talking about the picture the first part of the show this season. So we had to talk about this picture. So my thing, again, is if you don't want nothing to talk about, talked about, don't do stuff that's going to leave something to be talked about. You can't do that and then get mad. You know you're on a reality TV show. So you know you do some shady stuff like that. We're going to have to talk about it. It just is what it is. Um, and so in that conversation, certain accusations were brought up like, mm, I don't know if the, he would cheat, maybe, whatever. So then I straight up asked the question, well, Kiki, have you ever heard of any? thing about she was there okay i asked her and you know so we don't play about her either yeah mm -mm, that's my thing like don't bring up don't bring up people's kids like we're doing a show but stop it it's too much it's too much and that's why i left and i called my mother since so she's on here <laughs> i called my mother and told her what happened um Cause I knew I was like, oh shoot, I done call somebody. God dang, you know, you'd be like, dang. But I called my mom and told her exactly what happened. At, um, and the Sam said, so I don't want you to be surprised, cause I'm sure they're gonna play it. Um, but um, like I said, if the same thing was thrown at me and tried to attempt to be thrown in my face, um, I would say the same thing again and again. And that's just it. That's just it. Don't say nothing about my children in your shadiness. Don't say nothing about my kids. And that's just, I just think that that's, I mean, that's the same energy that people had last season with Tiffany, right? Don't say nothing about people's kids. So let's keep that energy. Keep that energy. Don't ever make it seem like I was stupid for having a baby. Don't do that. So, mm-hmm. Um, we got you. You have a lot of support with YouTubes and the subscribers. Oh, thank you. Hi, Simply Chenny. Thank you for the badges. But, um, like I said, I just wanted to clarify that because I know y'all only saw the pieces y'all saw. And, 
Um, I just wanted y'all to know what the real thing was. Like I said, run over to Carlos, DM him, ask him to show the unedited version at the reunion so y'all can see. He may. He may. You need a sister like me, I would have been handled them. They just was you and Kimmy are cool. She forgot you are a Scorpio. And I think that's the thing too. Scorpios, we can be real laid back, chill, cool, but when that stinger come out, it's gonna come out and um, you know. Mm-hmm. After that, you know, it is what it is. It was clear good. Good. I'm glad it was clear. Melody, do you think you all be friends again? I think it's okay for people to choose not to be friends anymore. Um, I mean, it's not like, let's be clear. Um, these weren't friends I've had for 10 plus years. <laughs> um, so I'm not losing no sleep. I'm not losing any sleep about those friendships or lack thereof. I, it's, I'm good. I don't wake up thinking about them. I don't go to sleep thinking about them. I don't go through my day thinking about them. I just, I'm living my life and it's okay. The friends that I have in real life that I rock with are the ones I rock with. And they, <laughs> we gonna be ride or die for each other forever. <laughs> it's, I, I'm not really, um, I ain't really um, checking. So what questions do y'all have? Cause I know y'all have some. I know you guys have some. Hey, Raquel. Raquel, I just texted you. Destiny miss you as being a friend. I think what's interesting to me, because um, I, I get that sometimes too, people deal me and they're like, Oh, such and such misses you, and such and such misses you, da, da, da. and I'm like, if I was such a bad friend who had to use people when I was going through things, then why is anybody missing me? Why? <laughs> I can't think of anybody that I exited out of my life that I sit around and think about uh, that I'm missing them, that I removed that wasn't good for my life, including my ex. I can't think of nobody that I removed from my life because it was intentional and needed to happen that I sit around missing them if they weren't if they weren't good to me so I think you know you have to think about that too but yet I'm such a bad friend um that's because they know that's not true in their hearts they know that's not true um when I was going through my situation it's interesting because I remember I think we talked about it season one or two but I remember that um, I explained, it was in a scene and I explained to Tisha then that um, I pulled back. She was upset that I had pulled back, but I pulled back because of things I was going through. So I'm not that friend either where when I'm going through things, I want to be surrounded by everybody and bring them in my, my whatever I'm going through. I'm not that person. So it's interesting to me when people say, oh, well, you just use people for when you were going through stuff. No, <laughs> the Scorpio in me actually likes to be by myself when I'm going through stuff. And that's part of the problem. Um, when I pulled back because I was going through stuff and I needed to handle my own stuff. I ain't needy like that. I'm not. I grew up as an only child because I grew up as an only child. I'm not needy. I'll, I, I, I'm just not. Um, I'm used to being by myself. <laughs> I'm used to handling my own stuff. I've never needed anybody to stand up on this show and um, get in between me and Martell. I, I could handle Martell very well on my own, as y'all saw me do how many episodes. I've never needed anybody to fight my battles. I've never needed anybody to stand in the way of me and Martell. Uh, I've never needed that, ever. Um, even the scene with Destiny when I was like, well, because, girl, I'm glad you're going because I might need you as a buffer. Y'all think I really needed anybody as a buffer. I was with that man for 14 years. I don't need nobody to buff nothing for real. It just sounded good. So I said it because they said I should. Do you need Destiny as a buffer? Oh, okay, yeah, fine. Girl, I hope you're going because I need you as a buffer, girl. I, don't, I didn't need nobody as no buffer. <laughs> 
Um, so, you know, y'all just got to keep it. Y'all got to I just think about certain things sometimes. Um, real talk. Um, let's see. What else? Um, oh, yeah. And, and let me say this. Um, there has never been a time where I've needed anybody to tell me what my now ex was doing or had to run and ask them what he was doing. First of all, when I left, I didn't care. I left, I filed for a divorce. I left and I filed for a divorce and I followed through with it. Um, so I ain't never had no time since I didn't care what nobody was doing. So I ain't have to ask nobody nothing about nothing. I don't know why that narrative is being told in terms of it's just, I'd be like, oh, these people off the chain. That's how I really be feeling. Like, I'd be feeling like this is off the chain to me. It's interesting. Um, I ain't had to have nobody that I'm running to just tell me nothing about what no ex of mine was doing. Because I haven't cared. Real talk. I haven't cared at all. So that's not true. That's not true. Now, if anybody wants to volunteer and be like, oh, yeah, Martell called me. Martell came by the house and he said, da, 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 da. that's one thing. But I ain't never been no one calling. So, girl, what are you doing? Girl, who are you talking to? Girl, who? Man, get out of here with that. Who care? I ain't cared since I left. You packed and left and never went back back. So, I don't know. I think it's interesting that, you know, people say certain things all the way down to, you know, oh, there was no way. Melody's room was next door. Y'all think I'm going to make up a room being next door in a hotel when you can literally do, which is what I've already done, call that hotel and have them send you your folio showing the room numbers? Let's see, 100. <laughs> That's too easy to got dang on. <laughs> prove wrong. <laughs> too easy to prove wrong. So when people just throw out stuff that just don't even make sense, I'll be like, dang, why? Like, why? I ain't got time to be making up a room. What? Let me tell you something. No, I called that dang old hotel. It was fun, though. I was like, hi. <laughs> well, it was easy to get my folio. Um, and I had them email Mary. I emailed it right on over. First, I went to my text message and looked at the room number. I sent my stylist because I remember I had some stuff done on my dress that night. And I was like, okay, this was my room number. And then I called and got the other room number. Guess what? Side by side, it's in my email. I'll show it to y'all. So, yeah, people just be lying. And I don't know what to do and tell them, but just God bless them on their journey. That's it. God bless them on their journey. I ain't never been one to make nothing up. They can't tell me, um, I mean, you know, they can't tell me one time that I've made up nothing to any of them because I don't do that. So I'm always going to keep it 100. Period. And this man, since you said this woman knows how to talk, this man loves to be in women's business. So I'm going to block you if you don't want to be on here. It's easy. You ain't got to be um, listening to us. You ain't got to be listening to us. Funny look itself. I'm saying it with love, too, though, but I'm for real. Um, so, yeah, y'all, that's what happened with y'all and time. Um, you know, just letting y'all know, I ain't never just called nobody out their name on this show. Even though in my video premiere party, they were saying that word a lot, actually. I mean, when I watched the episode, I was like, God dang, I didn't even know how that was going on over there. They kept saying the B word, B word, B word, B. I was like, dang. But, you know, you know, just what typically happens when you are quiet and trying to be cool and let people keep going and going and then you respond like Reunion 1. If y'all remember the stage Reunion 1, we sat there for a while 
and let a lot of stuff be said. And as soon as we came back, wait, wait, oh, what is this going to do? What is this going to help? <laughs> Y'all remember that? Wait a minute. What a, I was like, no, where was that energy when they was just doing all that talking? As soon as we responded, it became a big thing. And that's the same thing that happened at the Galentine party. <laughs> I mean, you know, you know, same thing, same thing. So just leave people alone. Just leave folks alone. That's all you got to do. Leave us alone. Well, leave me alone. Um, hey, lavish party rentals. Yes. Ooh, lavish. Sneakers on all. Mm -hmm. But anywho, I've enjoyed talking to y'all. Um, I hope I clear some stuff up for you guys. Because like I said, y'all been DMing me. Y'all know what it is now. And um, I'm coming with the heat. I am. But love you guys. Y'all have a great rest of the week. Okay. All right. And I may come back over here tomorrow. Mm -hmm.